A multimeter in an RL circuit records an RMS current of 0.6 amps and a 65 hertz RMS generator voltage of 105 volts. A wattmeter shows that the average power delivered to the resistor is 10 watts. Determine the values for the following. The impedance, the resistance, the inductance. So the first part's pretty simple. The impedance, we use the general case of Ohm's law, delta V RMS is equal to I RMS times Z, and we'll just solve for Z. So delta V RMS over I RMS equals Z. And then we just plug in, and you get your, your answer for impedance is 175 ohms. So ohms, that's a horrible ohms. So ohms, there we go. Then it wants us to find the resistance. Well, you would think, hey, why don't we just use Ohm's law? Because Z is equal to the square root of the resistance squared plus the, the inductive reactance minus the capacitive reactance squared. Well, that would leave us with two unknowns. So we will have to use a different equation. The power equation. Power is equal to I squared times R. And so if I divide by I squared, so I'll get the power over I squared. The average power over the RMS current squared is equal to the resistance. And you can just plug in your power. Uh, the average power you got was, uh, for I got was 10 watts, and the current that I got was, uh, was 0.6 amps. And so the resistance is equal to uh, 27.7778 ohms. And now the last part, it wants to know the inductance. And so we know that the inductance is equal to the inductive reactance divided by 2 times pi times the frequency. And we know that the inductive reactance can be found in the, for, in the formula for impedance. And since we just uh, solved for R, we have only one unknown in impedance. So this is an RL circuit, so it would be R squared plus X. L squared. And it's usually XL minus XC, but there's no capacitance, so XC becomes zero. Um, so uh, this is going to, so if we square both sides, we get that Z squared is equal to R squared plus XL squared. And then we, uh, we can divide by, or we can subtract R squared, and we get that Z squared minus R squared is equal to XL squared. And then we take the square root of z squared minus r squared and it equals the inductive reactance. We can take this equation and we can plug it back into, into this equation. So that's what we'll do really quick right here. Um, and we'll get that L is equal to the square root of z squared over, or z squared minus r squared. That's divided by well, let me try that again. Let's divide it by 2 times pi times the frequency. Now, you can use this for your answer. Um, and, of course, you can, if you wanted to, you could even uh, upset your professor by substituting in uh, to z and r the equations that we found in part 1. So you could say that L, and uh, I'll just show you. So you could say that L is equal to the square root of delta V RMS over I RMS. So that was part one where we found the impedance, and that would be squared, minus, uh, minus uh, the power over the, the average power over the, uh, uh, the RMS current squared. And so that, that's all there. And then that's divided by um, and actually, so that's divided by, the whole thing is divided by 2 times pi times the frequency, and you get L. When I do that, uh, a professor tends to get upset, so that's, that's why I do those kind of things. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.